Hi, welcome students. Welcome to our new chapter, Green's Function. Let us come to the first slide. Green function are based basically a technique for solving inhomogeneous, I mean non, I mean differential equations which are inhomogeneous. The Green functions are named after a British mathematician, George Green, who developed this concept in 1830s. Basically, the Green function helps us to solve a differential equation containing a source term or an inhomogeneous term. And it can be related to an integral operator, which we will be discussing. And both partial as well as differential, exact differential equations can be solved using Green's function. We can define Green's function or we can say quickly a Green function is nothing but the impulse response of an inhomogeneous linear differential operator defined on a domain with specified initial conditions or boundary conditions. We will ex explain more this statement later of this video. So the impulse response, what does it mean? Let us explain in this way. Suppose if I consider a linear differential operator which can be d by dx or d square y by d, d square by dx square or something like that and I, cons I consider L is a differential operator. Now, green function is said to be G. Let us say G is a green function. Now, we assume an equation, the linear operator into the green function is equal to delta, where delta is a Dirac delta function and this is what defines a green's function. That means, if I operate the same operator with the green function, I should get a Dirac delta function and then the solution of the initial value problem, which our problem was Ly is equal to F. That means, as we say that the initial problem which was considered a differential equation is nothing but L into Y equal to F. Basically, we consider F as the convolution G into F that means G is the Green's function. So, we will be discussing what is the concept, how we are defining a Green's function, how we are doing a Green function. So, uh, once again we will discuss, if I have a equation like this, an operator L into solution that is equal to source. That means I have a solution Y L into solution is equal to source, source is also an a function. One can first solve L into green function equal to delta for each S because each source and realizing that the source is a sum of delta functions, the solution is also a sum of green functions as well as by linearity of L because of the superposition principle. So how can we understand this come to coming to the next slide? The Green's functions are used in the study of linear partial differential equations and in physics it is used in quantum field theory, aerodynamics, aeroacoustics, electrodynamics, etc, etc. And also in quantum field theory it is used in the role of propagators. Let us understand uh, by an example what is a Green function. So consider a differential equation. 
d square y by dx square equal to 0. As we know that this represents a straight line because the second derivative is 0. That means derivative of the slope is 0. So, the slope is constant. A slope is constant for a straight line. So, that means the solution of this equation d square y by dx square equal to 0 is a straight line which is y equal to ax plus b. And even if I have another equation d square y by dx square plus k square y equal to 0. Even if we have such an equation, we can solve it by y equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx. So, if I have a homogeneous equation, that means the right hand side equal to 0 in the last two equations we considered. That means d square y by dx square equal to 0, d square y by dx square plus k square y equal to 0. Those equations are called as homogeneous equations because there is no source term or the right hand side is 0. That means there is no function which depends on the independent variables. And you can uh, and in suppose if you consider some other equations like d square y by dx square is equal to log x or d square y by dx square plus k square y is equal to tan x, then it is not easy to solve like the previous cases. So, if these are called as non homogeneous differential equations. Now, before solving this type of equations, learning how to solve. We let us consider the different operators, differential operators we have. Coming to the next slide, first of all, let us understand about an operator called storm liu liu operator. It is called SL operator. Basically, it is just nothing but a form or a, of a dif second order differential operator. Let us see, you can write any second order differential equation as a SL operator form, in the SL operator form. The SL operator form is given by L equal to d by dx of px dy by dx. That means, the first derivative of a product. The product is nothing but a function into the first derivative of the dependent variable plus q of x into y, another function of the independent variable into y, dependent variable. So, we can say, uh, we have if I have two functions p and q, the storm level operator is nothing but L equal to d by dx p of x into d by dx plus q. Now, if I operate, if I express in terms of an operator equation, L y equal to d by dx p x d y by d x plus q x into y. Now, for example, the first equation, if I am putting in the storm SL operator form, d square y by dx square equal to 0. So, that means the p is 1 here, because there is no uh, like function of x in the second, or, second order term. So, that means p is 0 and there is no term having uh, x or y without derivatives therefore, q is equal to 0. Now, coming to the second equation d square y by dx square plus k square y equal to 0. Here also p is 1 because there is no x term or some other coefficient along with d square y by dx square therefore, it is 1 p is 1. And the term which is coming along with y is a constant that means q is a constant that means q of x is equal to k square. So, I think you understood how to convert any differential equation into SL operator form. So, that means you have to find out the coefficient which is coming along with d square y by dx square that is to be put as p and the coefficient coming along with y has to be put as q. So, Another operator coming to the next slide, Dirac delta function. See, Dirac delta function is defined as integral Dirac delta x minus t into dx equal to t. See here, we have uh, two 
uh, independent variables x and t and it is integrated upon x the space of x. So, if you see here del integral Dirac delta x minus t f of t dt is equal to f of x that means Dirac delta is 1 at x equal to t for all other values other than x equal to t the delta function is 0. So, it is just a step like function that means you can uh, if you want to give a value a non-zero value for a function only for a particular value of the dependent variable you can use a Dirac delta function. So, the value of f of t becomes f of x only at if I am saying at x equal to t you have to just put multiply by Dirac delta function delta x minus t. So, coming again back to the Green's function as we told you the definition of the Green function, Green function is always defined in this way. An operator into a Green function, the Green function is a function of x and a, a, s that will always give a Dirac delta function. That means, if a operator operates on the Green function, the result will be a Dirac delta function. So, you remember once again, read, uh, remember carefully, if an operator operates on the green function, what we get is a Dirac delta function. That means, at x is equal to s, the function will become 1. That means, it will, uh, it will be non-zero. Coming to the next slide. So, this property of the green function. So, the green function has this peculiar property that if any operator operates on the green function what will you get you will get a Dirac delta function and this property of the green function is exploited to solve the differential equations which are non homogeneous in nature that means it has having a source. So, if the x the right hand side of the equa differential equation is a non zero term which is a function of x such equations are non homogeneous equations and to solve such equations we employ Green's function. As we have said about Green function it is very useful for solving equations like wave equation, diffusion equation and in uh, quantum mechanics it is a Green function of the Hamiltonian is a great key concept where it is linked to the concept of density of states and also Green function is can be categorized that means are uh, based on the type of the boundary conditions satisfied and coming to the next slide this was already discussed that means an operator operating on the green function will give you a Dirac delta function and you know the Dirac delta uh, the green function can also be expressed as g of x s is equal to g of x minus s that means, the green function is same as the impulse response of the linear time invariant theory. Now, let us do an exercise.